good morning my dear children today we will be starting with chapter number 12 which is law of distribution what do you mean by law of distribution okay let me introduce this chapter to you first suppose there are three numbers suppose k be the first number a be the second number and b be your third number now suppose i am multiplying this k with the summation of a and b that means k is getting multiplied with this summation a plus b okay so how to represent this with the law of distribution if k is getting multiplied here it should be a multiplication sign okay if k is getting multiplied with a plus b i can write it as k into a plus k into b what does it mean this k is getting multiplied with a first see i am multiplying this k with a first after that i am applying this addition sign here okay after that k is getting multiplied with b that means k into b clear similarly if k is getting multiplied with the subtraction of a and b that means k into a minus b clear so how i can represent this thing again with the help of law of distribution i am again multiplying this k with a that means k into a and this minus sign will come okay previous plus sign now minus sign is there so minus k into b clear this is nothing but your law of distribution that means you are distributing this k amongst a and b okay whether it is a plus sign or minus sign that will be depending upon uh, upon our question just keep it in mind this k is common for both a and b and similarly this k should be common for a minus b clear